Hi everyone. Uh, during these video presentations that we do for uh, APS, we constantly refer back to the Code of Conduct. Now, the Code of Conduct gives the consumer a lot of protection. And I want to go through the Code of Conduct and explain to you how these things work. Let me work backwards from the Code of Conduct so I can get to a relevant point which I want to do on this video. There's all these parts within the Code of Conduct. There's the termination of services, complaints, duties of a registered migration agent to its employees. There is a, a part here called financial duties. Now, under financial duties, one of the requirements for the registered migration agent is that if they're conducting their business affairs in another country, they must also maintain a client's account in that country. So, if that is the case then, migration agents who do their business here in the Philippines must maintain a client's account in an account here in the Philippines. I want you to introduce, I would like to introduce to you Wenny. Wenny is a, um, the accountant here at Australian Project Services and I just wanted to discuss with her about how we do our client's accounts here in the Philippines. Wenny, good afternoon, how are you? Good. Wendy, listen, we're looking at the Code of Conduct. Uh, we're looking at Part 7, Financial Duties of a Registered Migration Agent. Now, Respond Migration, I, in particular, hold a client's account here in the Philippines. Yes. Sir. Which bank do we hold it in? Uh, Filtrust. Filtrust, yes. And? We also have a BDO. A BDO account. Yes. Okay, so when we invoice the clients, the, the clients then deposit monies into that account. We also hold a separate account for the operating account yes. where, where all the daily functions are done as yes. well. That's good. So also from, um, from this perspective, what we've done as well is we've taken the MYOB accounting system from Australia and implemented it here. It's registered with the uh, BIR, the Bureau of Internal Revenue. So when you make an application with RASPAL, um, the whole application is then tracked with our MYOB accounting system. So, when you follow the Code of Conduct, it's very explicit and implicit on the, um, on the um, migration agent that they must have a separate books of accounts even if they are trading in a different country like the Philippines. There are other sections of this Code of Conduct, Record Keeping and Management, we'll be going through some videos about that. Fees and Charges, we'll be discussing that shortly as well. Relationships between other migration agents must be also um, looked at. Obligations to clients in part three. And it goes on to the standards of professional conduct that a migration agent should have with their clients. And other third party stakeholders like the Department of Immigration and assessing authorities. So the code of conduct is very critical in looking at the operation of your migration agent, making sure that they comply strictly with the code when they're making a process for your application, for a valid application to migrate to Australia. So I hope this video has given you an insight of what is required of the migration agent when operating in another country. They must still maintain a client's account separate from their operating account when they're doing their business in another country. And in this particular uh, country, it is the Philippines. I hope that's helped you. My name is, again, is Jose Raspal, and I'm a registered migration agent from Australia.